Good morning iFam and welcome to a very unexpected start. So really quickly, um, we're on our way to Wayne with Jace right now. There's nothing seriously wrong or anything like that. Nobody needs to panic. Uh, we're just going to double check basically. But last night, Jace said, well, Jace said this to Isabel throughout the day, but we didn't know. And Isabel didn't tell us because, I mean, there was no reason for her to tell us. It's just, it's no different to him saying like my knee hurts. But basically, Jace said to Isabel, my eye hurts at some point throughout yesterday evening, early tea time. And she said, she just comforted him and said, it's okay, and had a look at his eyes, nothing there. And then last, and then he, he was fine all day yesterday, no fever, no nothing, he was absolutely fine. And then yesterday night, like last night, as Chris was putting Jace to bed, Jace said again, my eye hurts. So Chris took his glasses off, had a look around his eye, there was nothing there, nothing to see. Didn't look red, didn't look sore, didn't look like anything was in his eye, it was, completely normal. Though Chris just thought, oh, he's just probably tired. So like, you know, sometimes when you're tired, like your eyes can sting and itch, etc. So Chris just obviously thought maybe he's just tired. And we put him to bed as normal. He went to bed as normal. He didn't sleep as normal last night, but we didn't put two and two together because why would we? He woke up crying a few times and talking nonsense, which he often does talk in his sleep. So we didn't like be alarmed. We weren't alarmed at that, but he did wake us up a couple of times last night crying. Obviously it's pitch black in the caravan. So we didn't visually look at him we just kind of said um it's okay jace it's okay you're just having a nightmare go back to sleep and he did so we presumed he was having nightmares last night and he just didn't have a great night's sleep however this morning he was sleeping in like i say late it wasn't massively late for jace he does he doesn't he's not an early riser i was up at about half past eight and trying to be quiet i was just sat in my bed basically playing, playing on my phone like the joys of small living in a caravan you don't want to wake the rest of the place up so you just like kind of chill in your own space but about half past eight i was awake trying not to move too much because I didn't want to make Mila up and I didn't want to disturb everybody else and then at about I'm trying to think what time everybody else woke, woke. it was quite late it's about half past nine not late but it's about half past nine and then I said just be quiet Jason didn't sleep too great last night so let's let him sleep like for as long as he wants to but about 10 he woke up or one of us woke him up and I was like good morning Jace and I almost fell to the floor his face is so swollen. His eye basically is really swollen. And Chris's, it was Chris actually that picked him up first, but his first reaction was, oh my gosh, Jace has got conjunctivitis, which is what we pres which is what we think. Um, so I said, pass him to me quickly, but he passed him to me. Um, and it, oh, honestly, I'll show you his eye in a moment, but it's, it's really swollen, his left eye. Um, so swollen, he can't open his eye. So at, at first I thought, oh, it's probably conjunctivitis. And then good old Facebook, about three or four days ago, really coincidentally, I read up on um, somebody that posted on there saying that their son had cellulitis or something of the eye and it looked very similar to what Jace has got right now. And they were giving like a warning, like it's not well known and some people don't know about this. I'm warning other parents because it can be extremely dangerous in toddlers and it's toddlers that often get this. Her son, I think she said was in hospital on an IV drip for like five days or something. So as soon as I remembered that, I like freaked out because he doesn't have any like you know when you get conjunctivitis typically your eyes sticky he's got none of that um you know like sleep and green and crust none of that his eyes completely clean except it's really swollen it's not red so we thought we'd best take him to the hospital to get him checked where, like, which is what we're doing now he's not even got dressed we've given him the wee obviously he's been to the toilet this morning and give him a bit of toast and some painkillers because he said it was hurting and now we're going to head on up to the hospital to have it checked out. I will say he did go on the trampoline yesterday, the only other thing I can think of. Before we set off, he went on the trampoline with Esme, and as you guys know, the trampoline's not been used all winter. I'm wondering if when he's been bouncing, he's bounced something into his eye, and then it's like maybe stuck in there and scratched his eye, which has caused the swelling, or maybe like, I don't know, maybe some bacteria's got in his eye, because the trampoline's obviously not been used. Uh, all winter I don't know basically but it's his eye and I'm not risking it um so we're taking him up to Amy and we're going to get him looked at okay little man are we ready to go to the hospital to see Doc Brown Bear you don't want to now Dr Brown Bear's nice yeah. isn't he you okay you feeling good yeah. no he was just had some toast so he was feeling a bit better but um yeah he can't open his oh it's his right eye that was his left his right eye Right then, come on little man, let's get you in the car. Okay guys, so me and the girls um, are playing Roblox right now because um, we were just sat here and we just had some... They're having a little sister day today. They're having a little sister day. Um, hi Queenie and Pretty. A little sister on doggy day. You yeah. get down, good girl. And yeah, we're just playing scary horror games on Roblox again, which is very fun. We're eating popcorn. And we're eating popcorn. We just played Poppy, Play uh, Poppy Playtime one, which is really fun. Um, and now we're going to play the... Oh, I don't know. know. Uh, the yeah. asylum or something. Mm -hmm. And we've got some nice Spider-Man popcorn. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's very nice. Mm -hmm. It's sweet and salty. It's probably the best pop popcorn I've ever had. It's so good. But yeah, we're just chilling with some food. 
and it's still in pyjamas, but that's fine. Isabel's still in the pyjama bottoms, but that's fine. And her massive fat fluffy socks that look like shoes. Pretty's chilling, I'm chilling. We're having a good, scary time. So we just got seen by the triage nurse, and now we're just sat waiting for a doctor, I guess, to come in and have a look. You're a good boy, aren't you? All his obs were good. Okay, so we're just in our own little room here. Oh, it's so hot. Um, they said that it doesn't fall into any specific category. There's no redness um, to fall into one category. There's no like discharge or yellow like stuff, so it doesn't fall into the conjunctivitis category. Um, there's no obvious like um, bite mark, so it doesn't fall into like an insect bite category. And it's not swelling in both eyes, so it doesn't necessarily fall into an allergic category. Um, so they're just not short, basically. But they said that they're going to treat treat it as an allergy and an infection. Um, so we've got antibiotics. He's had di he had a dye in his eye, didn't you? Um, so we've got antibiotics, antibiotic eye drops, and um, an antihistamine as well. Everybody in here has been cooing over Jace because he hasn't made a single sound since we got in, even when the doctor had to look at his eye and when the doctor had to put the dye in and examine it, he literally didn't make a single sound. You've been such a good boy, haven't you? <laughs> You're okay? Don't touch it, don't touch it, sweetheart. We don't want to make it sore. So we've got antibiotics and antihistamines coming, our prescription. We're just waiting for the doctor to come back with those now and then we can go home. Well, back to our caravan, back to our holiday, and hope it gets better. And the Mmm, We go back to our house soon, won't we? Maybe we'll chill out today though. Hey, do you reckon? So we just got back to the van, so I thought I would just update you guys all properly. So um, they, there's four or five things that they tend to associate with this type of, well, with, with facial eye swelling like this. Number one is an insect bite, which is what he looked for first, but he couldn't see any sign of, in, of an insect bite, so he ruled that out. Another is conjunctivitis, which is what we thought this morning. However, there's no like crustiness, discharge from the eye or anything like that. So he kind of said he didn't think it's that. One is an allergy to something, but he said that with an allergy you tend to see it in both eyes, not just one. So we kind of ruled that off. One was something in the eye, but he put a dye in his eye and looked under a UV light and said there was nothing in his eye, he couldn't see anything like that. He couldn't see any scratches or anything like that. And the other one is cellulitis, which is what I was worried about before, which was what I mentioned before. However, he his eyeball itself doesn't look overly red, so he doesn't think it's that either and so basically he didn't know and um, those like five things are typically what it would be but it kind of it kind of he said it kind of doesn't fit either of the categories so he's given him Puritan like I said before eye antibiotics and oral like he has to like medicine antibiotics which is going to be fun um I think it said he's got to take those five times four or five times a day for five days four times a day for five days so that's going to be great fun um i think we've written today off pretty much and we're just going to take each day as it comes we're not going to rush home just because it's no different been here than been at home in fact it's probably better here because we can all be close together and it's not like he's in a room and everyone's in like other places so we're going to stay it's cozy, and cozy. it's cozy yeah so we're going to stay and see how he is basically obviously if he gets a lot worse if he if he's running like loads of high fevers and he's asking to go home then we'll probably do that but we'll probably just wait it out and just see how it goes um and the doctor said that that's fine to do as well not that we needed the doctor's permission on whether we needed to go home or not but um Obviously they asked because they saw our address, are you here on holiday? And we said yeah, and he said when do you go home? And we told him and he was like yeah that's fine, book a follow up appointment when you get home, but if it gets any worse, come back. So we're just gonna chill out today, aren't we little man? He's having snuggles right now with Isla. And this is what it's looking like. What's that in there? It's a little Jace. Hey, <laughs> are you okay? I think we're gonna let him have, let him have his ninny for today. I will say that 
cannot, um, I, I can't, I cannot believe how much of a good boy he was in there. He didn't whimper or cry at all when they were doing all the checks. Um, and they did like all his vitals, they checked his pulse, they checked like his chest, they did check his ears, his throat, they checked like absolutely everything. Um, they put the dye in his eye, they like pushed his eye open like this and he was just such, he didn't make a whimper, didn't make a noise. He did get called a girl three times, I think it might be time for a haircut. The nurse said, oh you're such a pretty girl. I was like, it's a boy. And then the doctor was like, and there's somebody Can else. Check your system man. Someone else said, oh you're such a little sweetie. Or something like that, not that you can't call a boy that and then the doctor said um can i look in your eye good girl and i was like oh it's a boy he's like oh i thought it was a girl um but yeah he was he was such a good boy and they kept asking me as well does he have full nappies his nappies full and i was like oh he's put to trade his and they're like oh, wow that's so good what's wrong Oh, oh you're telly. Mila is absolutely loving life right now. <laughs> Obviously, we took Mila with us. I don't know if we even filmed saying that, but um, she sat in the car with Chris whilst I ran in. And thankfully, it was only a really small, like, it wasn't an ER, it was, um, a, a, what was it called? Uh, urgent care centre. An urgent care centre. And it was dead. There was no one in there except us and one other guy. So we were seen very quickly. And we were back at the van within about an hour. We heard your car from like so far away and, then, and we all stopped playing our game and went, you something with that? Yeah. And then no, we were like, we were heard like them. throwing the party stuff away and throwing <laughs> the coffees away down the drain. They're like, yes, oh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. No, we did, yes, they did that and then I didn't stand and you pretty water blow. Oh, that's why the water's all over the it's floor. It's because we, we were eating some popcorn on the sofa and we stood up and where Isla was sat, there was like four pieces of like popcorn on the sofa and we were like, it's quick, come on, come we, we didn't expect you to be back so early, we were like, why are they back so early? And then mum came in with like some little treats for us. Yeah. And I was like, is it are you giving me this for like good news and that's giving me some bad news? And she went, just sit down, just sit down. I was like, just tell me what's wrong. Jace had red dye like <laughs> dripping out of his eye. In fact it's like it looks this it looks like radioactive UV marker pen, like bright yellow marker pen. Every time he like cries or gets a tear, it's like bright yellow. It's obviously the dye thing they put in, but he's got like he had red stain, I've just wiped it off. And Chris walked in and went, so he's fine, don't worry, everything's fine. But um they had to take his eyeball out just to like look all around it and the girls are like <laughs> What? 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 And like, yeah, they just took his eyeball out to examine it and they're like, really? <laughs> I couldn't. I was like, no, they didn't. They didn't. <laughs> Jason, you, you want a power What's team? What's going on with this telly? You want a power I team? I do. I do. It's a little bit sour. I mean, it's a little bit spicy. Was it a bit spicy? Which one? The white one or the clean one? The clean one. Clean the clean one. one. <laughs> so we just braced ourselves to give Jace the period and antibiotics. I thought, and he took it like, so he just took it. The antibiotics, I was like, which one should we do? Though. It doesn't, it doesn't yeah. take but he took the antibiotics straight away, just like, and it was a full syringe, so I just gave him half, so he didn't like spit it out, and then took, and he swallowed it, and then opened his mouth for the other half, and then the period one. Drop four mm, times a day. Yeah, this one might not be as This might not be as easy. You need to lay flat, and you need to just try you have to help me do this. Open um, but he just took the period on, said it was a bit spicy. What's wrong, Mila? Right, we're gonna brave this now. All done. That one didn't go down quite as well as the medicine, but he took it like a trooper. And now Isabel's playing cushion and pillow <laughs> ear. He it, it loves ears, so oh, yeah. Isabel's such a good sister. She's just laying there awkwardly yes. so that it can put Let's watch We can. Let's watch Booba together. We love Booba. He's saying. <laughs> Very lucky we've got the TV up here and we can watch our telly together, okay? We're gonna have a chill day. Oh my goodness, he's blue! <laughs> Bless little man, he's fast asleep right now and it's a lovely day today. It's very cold, but the, well, the sun was out until like 10 minutes ago. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna go get the sunset at the beach today. Uh, Cause we're right on the beach and the sun's disappeared. It hasn't set yet, but it's just come, it's come out all cloudy. Thanks for that. Uh, so we're just taking a walk to have a check out the beach and take Prinny for a walk. Prinny! Come on, fool. It's, it doesn't matter about the sunset, it's actually so beautiful up here, it's ridiculous, uh, as you'll see in a minute. But this place is really cool because it's kind of got like, I think it's the only big campsite in, well, I, that'll probably be the most inaccurate statement of all time. When I was looking anyway, this is the one that came up. It's like a really big campsite um, on the coast here and it's got like half a touring site and half a static caravan site. So you walk through the static caravan site to get to the beach and it's, it's beautiful. I love the coastline along here, along like the Lincolnshire coastline because, well, you'll see now.
for a little dog with little legs, you're a fast one. So we all just went for a walk down to the sea and back. It's so beautiful here on this camera and definitely on the drone as well. The, the wind turbines in the distance, they look really far away, but in real life, they're massive and they're quite close. Like they're not far away. It's just the lenses Ooh, I'm like, filming so on. It's windy here. Yeah, it's, it's kind of not windy, I don't think it's else. Not windy. You think it's windy right now? No, it's not windy, but a minute ago, the fog, there must have been like a really quick fog coming because over there, because I could see them, them like windmill thingies, and then I could see little ones in the distance as well, but I can't. Even. They're gone. Yeah, they, yeah they have. It's got a bit misty. Anyway, for all of you guys on here that watch these videos that are into drone videography like me, I need some help with some recommendations because my drone isn't cutting the mustard anymore. So when we were in Scotland, I used to have, I've had a few drones, but basically I used to have, in Scotland I used to have a Mavic Air, and that was the first Mavic Air that came out of the one. I lost that, it died at sea, unfortunately. It was a really traumatic experience, as you guys know who watched that series in Scotland. It was a crazy Come on, Prin, let's go. A lot of crazy things happened. They did. So anyway, I replaced that drone with two drones. I got a Mavic, a DJI Mavic Air Mini, which is what I carry around with me a lot, just because it's so small, you can fit it in your pocket, and it's not heavy to carry around, really easy to set up, and it's great, it does loads of cool things. The only thing it doesn't do that bugs me is that it doesn't active track. If you guys who fly drones know what I'm talking about, you'll know what I'm talking about. It doesn't active track. It does a few good things like it spins around things on its own and does a few program shots and it maneuvers like any other drone does. It's got the same range as most drones, etc, etc. But I do find that it loses its radio signal between the controller and the drone really easily. So, you know, any kind of minor obstacle loses its signal. If it goes kind of, I don't know, maybe 400 meters away, it starts to lose its signal. It's not great keeping its signal, which doesn't leave for smooth shots. Really frustrating. My Mavic Air, I also got a Mavic Air 2 at home, and unfortunately, I broke that on. <laughs> so that's not in service at the minute. I want to spend some money and get a really good drone, really good drone, that's not gonna lose its signal, gonna have a good range, good battery, etc. DJI maybe is the way to go. I haven't really looked properly myself. Maybe another company is, I don't know. But anyone that knows, a really good professional drone that's gonna get me the best shots because we've got some really, really awesome trips this year coming up that we definitely need a really good drone. I need a really good drone for to get the best shots, which is what I love to do. I love filming beautiful scenery on my drone and making it look good. So if anyone knows any, then let me know because I need some recommendations before I make an investment because I'm going to do some research myself obviously but if, if anyone knows from like practical experience or just knows drones way better than I do anyway then let me know. I need a professional level drone that's going to have a good range and get me the best shots. I also really need some tips on buying a telescope so I want to buy a really good telescope as well so that when we're on trips like this or trips in the van places and it's a clear gorgeous night or if we are basically mostly for camping trips like this that we can stargaze with the girls um i've got this really really just i don't know this really like idea in my head that i just want to be able to be out when it's clear starry night in the most remote of places and watch the stars and see the universe and show the girls all that too and jace obviously so I want to buy a really good telescope too, so if anyone knows anything about that as well, because I have no clue whatsoever about telescopes at all. But I want it to be a good one, like, not like one you buy from a toy shop kind of thing. I want, I want to spend, like, a good amount of money on getting a good professional one that anybody can use, like, a novice like me can use who knows nothing about telescopes. So if anyone knows anything like that, then please drop a comment below and let me know, and um, much appreciated. Anyway, it's coming to five o'clock. The girls want to stay on the park for a bit longer than I want to stay. I have to get back and set the vlog up, so that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so it's been a bit of a crazy hour. Basically, we've just had a bit of a family discussion. Is the decision definitely made? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I want 100%? Esme is sat in front of me crying right now. Why are you crying again, babe? Come here. One minute, guys. Right, so... <coughs> Esme's okay now. She's just sat in front of me. Um, and there's nothing wrong with Esme. Nothing's going on. She's just, she just, you know, she just doesn't like looking at Jace, like with his big hat eyes. She's, she's worried about him, um, as is everyone else. Um, so we just had a family discussion because the plan was to stay on our little holiday that we're on right now, keep an eye, keep our eye on Jace. I've got other things going on on Monday. And yeah, we're going, we're checking into somewhere on Monday, which is close by here, etc., etc. We have seen a doctor today obviously i went to that hospital it, i will i do just want to point out that it wasn't an emergency department well, i think i already said that actually but it was small it was like a really small place not to discredit the doctor in there it was just an urgent care center obviously they're still qualified but as the day's gone on jace is on to like his third dose of antibiotics antihistamine and, and the eye drops we can't physically get the eye drops into his eye anymore because his eye is swollen up 
so much more than it was this morning. Um, this morning, yeah. This morning, his eye was um, you could well I've I've vlogged it, but he could open it a, bit, a tiny bit. You could see him at, looking through the eye. Um, now we can't even prize it open to try and get the eye drops in, and it's a little bit discoloured as well. Is it pink, purple like colour? Yeah, he's okay right now, but he did say um, about an hour ago he's got a headache. And when I said like, "Where's your headache?" He's pointing at the top of his head here. Um, basically, we're not comfortable staying. We're not comfortable. Um, Apart from the urgent care centre that we went to today, we're about an hour away from an emergency department. And I'm not saying there's an emergency happening or anything like that, but I just feel irresponsible staying here when we could be at home. We don't know how it's going to be in the night, basically. We don't know how it's going to be in the night, and I don't want us all to be in a tiny little van during the night if Jace was to take ill and be an hour away from an emergency department. So we're going to go home, basically, long story short. It's about... I don't know what time it is right now, about 8pm and we're going to pack up about an hour and a half away from home. If when, by the time we get home I feel like he's okay, like it's, you know, he's, he's still plodding on the same, he's actually happy in himself right now, he's just sat with my phone down there. We'll just maybe see how he goes but if not and we're still worried then we'll take him back to the hospital tonight just to be double sure. I just feel like with something like this where we've not got a definitive answer, they didn't run bloods or anything like that. I spoke to one of you guys that's in um, in the medical profession who said they should have taken bloods or she would have expected them to. And there's no definitive, it's this. They're not quite sure. I just don't feel comfortable leaving it. So that's the decision we've made. So we're about to pack up now, get in the car and head back off home. It's the right decision. Everyone's in agreement. That right decision, yeah. Everyone's saying that's what we should do. Um, everybody wants to go home and make sure he's okay. So that's what we're doing. Just a quick update. This is what we have going on right now. So as you guys can see, it's it looks a lot worse than what it did this morning. I don't know what I filmed of it this morning, but to our eyes, it's definitely a lot worse. He can't open it at all. He is still eating and drinking, which is good. Um, is he's still is he, so beautiful, Jace. He's eating a donut right now. <laughs> Anything we can get down in, right? Yeah. Hey, you had some bit, little bit of omelette, didn't you? Yeah, but I don't want it. You don't want the omelette? Mm -mm. You don't want the donut either? <laughs> no, okay. Does it look like chunk from the Goonies? I said that Say, no, I don't, don't Dada. I know. You don't. Okay, so the lighting's not very great in here, but we basically decided to come straight to the hospital just to get checked out. I couldn't rest with the, his eye the way it was. When we decided to stay on the little holiday that we were on this morning, it was because I guess I presumed that as soon as he started taking the antibiotics, the eye would start to get better. I wasn't anticipating it. And that's all the doctor said, right? Getting worse, yeah. Um, as you guys can see, he's got gel in his hands because unfortunately he's been admitted. So we're just in our own little room right now. They've been really nice in letting both me and Chris come in just because I'm obviously breastfeeding Mila but obviously I can't stay overnight because um, Mila can't stay here overnight so they're letting us get settled in with him um, he's going to be hooked up to some IV antibiotics and fluids and then he'll be in for a minimum of two days which sucks so bad so I'm here. okay we found a light there is a light in this room um, it's almost 4am right now Oh my god, it's been the longest day of my life. So basically, um, it's, what what's the, it's basically cellulitis, basically, they think. They're gonna go and take some bloods now. They've examined his eye and things, set him up to an IV. The doctor and registrar just came in um, and examined him. Yes, sweetheart? I'm gonna get off the bed. Wanna get off the bed? No. Gonna get off the bed? Yeah. You don't fancy laying there? Mm. Come here then. Is that better? He wants to curl up in the chair instead. <laughs> um, so th they said that he'll be in for a minimum of two to three days. Mm -hmm. Is that right? 48 to 72 hours. Which sucks, poor baby. Um, they're going to get an eye specialist to come down and see. The problem that they've got is that they can't see his eyeball. They've tried to like prise it open, but they can't. Like it's too, It's too swollen and they need to be able to see the eyeball. And then they, what did they say about scanning? They might need a scan. They might need a scan to Worst see like, scenario, yeah, they might need a scan to see like behind his eye, make sure nothing's going on like in his head, behind his eye, his oh, actual because eyeball. See. Cause they can't see. No, they didn't say that. They said they might have to do that anyway. Anyway, um, so yeah, so that's the update. I'm gonna end the vlog here um, because it's, it's so late, I'm babbling on, but I just didn't want the vlog to end and not fill you guys in on what was happening. So that's what's happening. I'm not sure about logistics and everything, 
Love to come in there vlogging tomorrow because we haven't been able to get home and Chris is obviously not going to be editing now because he's staying here with Jay tonight. I'll update that on Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do because that's why I usually do my updates and things. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow, probably, at 5pm. Good night, guys.